I'd like to call a meeting of the <coughs> Development Review Board order, January 6, 2015. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Almost okay. at um, First item in our agenda is our minutes from our last meeting. Any changes? Additions? I make a motion we approve. No, nope. moves if approved. Charles seconds. All in favor? Okay. We have a sign-up sheet of, uh, at the end of the table there. We ask anybody who's <coughs> going to speak this evening to... to uh, Sign that uh, sign-up sheet and it includes the following oath statement. I solemnly swear or affirm under the pains of penalty of perjury that the statements I make, testimony I give, and other evidence I submit to the board at the board's public hearing held on this date shall be true and correct to the best of my knowledge and belief. And again, that sign-up sheet is just right at the end of the table there. Um, next item uh, is uh, disclosure of any ex parte communications or conflicts of interest regarding the matters before the board this evening. Any? No, no, see any. Okay. Um, our first hearing tonight is Judith Bowman, uh, 2609 Mount Anthony Road. Um, the applicant is seeking approval for a two-unit planned residential development. Uh, this application was preliminarily reviewed by the application review panel. They did um, recommend approval. However, they did ask for Jason to do, a, uh, the engineer on this project, to do a, a brief presentation to the board. Jason Dolmich, MSK Engineering, uh, presenting for Judith Bowman, who's uh, proposing a planned residential development on her uh, parcel at uh, on Mount Anthony, 2609 Mount Anthony Road. Um, the uh, proposed uh, planned residential development would allow for her to uh, use a second, um, essentially a single bedroom studio apartment in her existing garage, which is next to her uh, existing house. Um, so, in accordance with the rural development standards for the PRD, we've proposed uh, a 50% set aside open space area. Um, she's got more than enough room uh, to allow for that and uh, more than enough area to allow for the proposed uh, increase in density of uh, dwelling units. And uh, <clears throat> as such, we've requested, uh, because she doesn't have an existing boundary survey on file, we've requested that that uh, particular uh, requirement of the proposed PRD be waived given the fact that the, the, um, the proposed uh, number of units for the size of the parcel grossly uh, is more than adequately sized. So even if there's any slight error in the amount of uh, area that there, there's more than enough area to cover it. Um, we have um, applied for a uh, wastewater and potable water supply permit to allow for the additional residents as well. Any questions from the board? <coughs> from the audience? Yeah. Question this? Any motion? Charles? I make a motion to approve. Charles moves to approve. Bill seconds. All in favor? You're all set, Jason. Great. Thank you very much. Um, <coughs> next item on our agenda is uh, Milo Campbell at uh, 554 Gull Gully Lane. Uh, approval for uh, is an annual special event. Um, the application review panel did <coughs> review uh, this application and uh, did recommend approval. There won't be any significant changes uh, to the uh, pro uh, application uh, that was approved last year. Hi. Good evening, Milo. How are you doing today? It's, uh, it's the same that it has been right along, except for last year. I had talked to Dan in regards to uh, some parking that I had leased from the people in the back that worked out very, uh, very good for us. And uh, I have them on board with me again for parking, which eliminates uh, Mrs. Gully's driveway. It frees up her driveway for her, and everything worked out well. The other thing that I have done is I've been in contact with Paul Doucette because in the past uh, the Sheriff's Department hasn't come to me to try to work with me as I've gone to them. So I've talked to Paul about potentially coming to uh, help us do some uh, security in the show also. Because the show is starting to broaden, it's getting a little bigger. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody's safe there. Other than that, nothing's changed. Any questions? <coughs> yes. That, are you going to have a band or anything? Nothing like uh, that? No bands. No, just no. Um, I did yesterday, Bill, when you had mentioned uh, about maybe turning the noise on, I thought about it, and what I'll do is I'll turn my speakers the opposite way, so they're not facing that way, sort of move it down to the other valley, and then we can wait for somebody to complain there, and then we'll turn it to the back. <laughs> <laughs> they can hear you better, Lee, as well. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned yesterday that this parking area that you see at the bottom of your drawing, 
It's coming in from another road. I forget. Comes the in off from Overly Road. It's directly okay. off oh, of Overly. Yeah. So it frees up Mrs. Gully's driveway for her. The only, the only use of the driveway now is for when we bring the trucks, the entry trucks in to the uh, to where the pit area is. That would be the only use for it. And we have fire police on the road too to direct everybody where they're going. Mm -hmm. Dan, never mind. Just said it. So there. Do you have signage or? We have signage okay. and we have fire police right That's on the, right on yep. the roadway. <laughs> You have a question? Any questions from the board? Any more? A motion? Motion approved. Yeah. My second. Okay. Ron moves. Ron moves. No second. No seconds. All in favor? Hey, okay, Violet. Good luck. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks Violet. Um, I don't see Mr. Cobelia, which uh, is our third um, application this evening. So. Um, Certainly would be appropriate, I think, if the board is amenable to continue this to the next meeting. Yeah. Okay. So moved. Dan moves to continue. I'll second. All seconds. All in favor? All right. Okay. Uh, unless there's any other any business? business, we can adjourn. Need a motion to adjourn? Trouble. I'll make a motion. Moves. Need a second. No. No seconds. <laughs> All in favor? Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for packing.